Hi, my name is Eric Klein. In this video, we're going to be talking about this new feature of K-Cycles called Ton Mapping. It is implemented right on the viewport to allow you to create more dynamic scenes or just change the mood in no time. It's easy to use. It's designed to give you great results without the need of Photoshop or the compositor. The Ton Mapping settings have been selected as the most useful they are needed to bring your image to the best possible results. It allows you to, them to stand out or give it a final polish right there in the viewport with speed and ease of use. So let's start with the BMW scene. Uh, we go into Cycles Preview Mode and we'll start from last video we talked about Bloom so we elect from the K Cycles section. We went through that options in Bloom last time. Now select Ton Mapping Settings. We can go through each setting individually. Exposure just changes the overall brightness of the image. Uh, contrast is basically the dynamic change between the high and the low brightness, increasing or decreasing. We can bump it up to another 1.2. Bright. The highlights is the, to increase or decrease the brightest parts of the image. As you can see here, the the highlights may be a little too bright, so we can lower it with highlights. Shadows increases or decreases the dark areas of your image. So we can, this one we can maybe go a little bit lower to start. Uh, saturation brings up more the color into the image or decreases it. So you can see if I go to zero, basically get a black and white image. So in this case, I want to increase it to bring a little bit more, bring up the color of the paint brighter. Change the mood of the scene with white balance to something a little cooler. So you can go you can use the minus it goes to the cooler temperature of the scene plus to the warmer. So if I did minus 0.5, you get a much cooler tone or plus 0.5, you'll get a warmer tone. So let's make it a little cooler down to 0.25. Now color tint allows you to assess to basically merge the color selection into the scene and I can see just dynamically by clicking on the color wheel you'll see how instantly you get feedback on the on the change of tone you can give it a light blue color tint can reduce the amount of overall brightness uh, so I may want to increase the exposure a little bit higher if I want to tweak the bloom I could go to this selection and say I want to have a wider bloom I can just increase the radius size to 9 and it stands out more. This I still think we can increase the overall exposure a little bit higher and this gives you an option of all the tone mapping settings you can do and you can select the category off and off to turn off all the effects or select it back on. You can Once you're happy with the changes you've done if I increase the brightness I could I guess lower the highlights to compensate F12 for final render. So in a few seconds you can see you can quickly adjust everything right on the viewport together with Bloom to map and really brings up the last final polish of your scene. So in a few seconds you'll be able to see the results they should match exactly what we have on the viewport. So as you can see that's what we have here matches the same results. And if at uh, whatever point you want to reset all your settings, you can quickly just drag your mouse, go down, and uh, as you can see, most of them, you can reset them to back to one, white balance to zero, and color back to, to one, and that will basically reset you back to the default to start over. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this to map a new feature.